Legion of Pale. I've called you here because I've uncovered a threat to the Pale community. Take a look at these slides. This is actress Lindsay Lohan two years ago. And here she is today. Here's Scarlett Johansson in 2002. Johansson today. Clay Aiken on American Idol. Clay Aiken today. That's right. Not only are these naturally pale girls getting tan, they're also turning into dirty whores. They all have one thing in common. They're all former contestants in the Miss Pale America pageant. Whatever happened to these women happened during that contest. We need a pale beauty to go undercover at the Miss Pale America competition to find out what's going on. Someone with unique poise and femininity. And that will have to be you, Conan. Me? You're the only man for the job. But no one will ever believe that I'm a girl. Uh, right. Don't worry, Conan. We'll teach you how to act feminine. By the time we're done, no one will know the difference. Oh, boy! You're the only man for the job for a lady. Now you know what you gotta do. Got a special something deep down in you, baby. You just gotta let it shine through. Shine through, shine through. I just want you to know that in addition to testing you for drugs, we're also testing your testosterone level to make sure that there are no men pretending to be women. And you know what we found? No testosterone whatsoever. You're all definitely girls. None of you have a penis or testicles. Just thought I'd let you know. See you later. How do we know that's your real red hair? As if that color even exists in nature. <laughs> What's up, baby? I'm Wilma Valderrama. Who? From that 70s show. Who? From MTV's Yo Mama. From what? Get in the car, bitch! That's him. Wilmer Valderrama. Wilma who? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 14th annual Miss Pale America pageant. Here's your host, Vladimir Putin. All right, okay. You ready to have fun? Who let the dog out, huh? Okay, America, what a country. In Russia, you have to stand in line just to stand in line. <laughs> what a country. <laughs> All right, let's get to our talent competition. Up first, it's lovely Miss Massachusetts. Country. Before a crown winner, I want to introduce judges Ed Begley Jr., Elijah Wood, and Wilma Flintstone. That's Wilma Valderrama. Whatever. What a country. And winner is by unanimous decision Miss Massachusetts. There she is. Miss Pale America. She is pale like Yeltsin's liver. She is pale as Margaret Thatcher leg. Well, you won, baby. Now you gotta make good on your promise. 
We're gonna get you all nice and tan, bitch. Just like I did those other girls. You know I'm not really a girl, right? I sure do, baby. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Jim! Hey, beat it, pal, man. This is my bitch. I think the lady wants you to leave her alone. Oh, yeah? Well, your mama's so... Charlie Rose is made possible by generous grants from the following rich bastards. Good evening. My guest tonight, America's favorite crime-fighting duo, Pale Force. Hello. Pale Force, of course, is comprised of Jim Gaffigan, the incredibly successful actor, comedian, writer, and humanitarian. Hello, Charlie. Thanks. And his houseboy, Conan. I'm not his house... Jim, you're constantly stealing scenes in major motion pictures, selling out theaters. Your CD and DVD beyond the pale are selling like wild cakes. And now, the nation of Afghanistan, in an effort to improve its image, has decided to change its name to Gaffganistan. My question to you, Jim, what magic makes Jim Gaffigan make so much magical magic, Jim Gaffigan? Well, I think that... It's good. I mean, I'm just... It's about good. You make good things. You fight for good. You're good-looking. You're very focused on good. What is it about good that is, um, as my friend Maureen Dowd would say, good? Well, I suppose... Evil. It's interesting that you bring up evil. I recently had a roundtable on that topic. Let's take a look. Roll tape. Lady Bruns, as a villain, you're the most villainous. Are you always opposed to good? No, I enjoy doing good. I simply want to kill pale people. I don't think that takes away from all the work I've done for children. Non-pale children? <gasps> See, I don't discriminate based on paleness, which people I kill and which ones I don't. Why am I here? What's so wrong with wanting to give toys to obese children? That's fascinating. I'm good, thank you. It's interesting that we're discussing this because a short while ago I had a round table where I discussed a very similar topic with a USB port. Roll tape. USB port. You are the preeminent port on the computer. Yet there is a certain resistance to the firewire. What is your issue with the firewire? It's interesting that you bring that up because in two years I'm going to be having a round table on a similar issue with Pale Force. Roll tape. Well, that is all the time we have for tonight. Join me tomorrow night when I'll be condescending to somebody much smarter than me. Hi, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you want. If you want to see more stand-up, I have more stand-up. Or if you want to see an original show like Let's Get Cooking or The Mike and Pat Show, that's available on my channel, but also just know that I'll be posting a new video every day during this pandemic or until the world ends. Please hit subscribe and turn on your alert or notification button.